Hey guys, it's Heidi. Welcome to my channel. Today we will talk about my most favorite summer vanilla fragrances. In this late summer time we have worn a lot of fresh perfumes now, perhaps more on the lighter side. So I think it's perfect now to share my top 5 summer vanilla perfumes. I'd like to start with a Chypre floral by the house of Memo Paris. Lalibella. So this is the 10 ml bottle. The smaller size. Lalibella is a warm and sweet perfume creation, quite ambery and balsamic. Top notes are coconut, orchid, rose and peony. In the mid there is vanilla, patchouli, jasmine and labdanum. And in the base there is incense, tobacco leaf and precious woods. When I tried this one first, I thought it's an ylang ylang based fragrance. This may come from the combination of vanilla, incense and patchouli, which is quite prominent to my nose. To me, it's less about this jasmine, orchid, peony and more the balsamic, labdanum and the incense vanilla. I love this tropical feeling of coconut in here. So it's perfect appropriate for summer, although it's so warm and balsamic. Great summer evening scent, or I can imagine a rainy day in summer and Lalibella warms you up and gives a tropical and sunny hug. It has a strong sillage and a lasting power, um, six to eight hours on my skin. So this was Lalibella by Memo Paris. Now let's talk about one of my all-time favorite, and this is... Cassili by Parfums de Mali. A tropical fruity floral vanilla fragrance with a chummy, sweet, sour, creamy peach smell. The notes in here are red currant floral notes and Bulgarian rose. In the top, in the mid, there is frangipani, plum, pitalia and mimosa. And the base is of vanilla, tonka bean and sandalwood. Cassily opens a little bit sharp with the sour red currant, but way milder than the Delina sharpness. And also the sweetness is there with the first spray. The rose and the florals shine bright and modern. To me it doesn't feel like a classy rose fragrance. The fruity floral heart has a slightly tropic touch of the frangipani. The plum is fresh and sweet juicy, not a dried plum. Petalia has a fresh floral scent of peony, lily of the valley, rose with a fruity undertone, very fresh, light and diffusive. A bunch of vanilla, tonka bean and sandalwood create a sweet creamy base with a hint of powder. I love the brightness and the happy feeling. It's creamy and delicious like a peach dessert or a peach delini, this sweet cocktail. It's delightful elegant, luxurious and very feminine. Cassily is on the one hand exclusive and intensive, intense like a special occasion fragrance and on the other hand uncomplicated and an easy reach at least for me. You get a strong sillage with a lasting power of five to seven hours. So this is Cassily by Parfums de Mali. Next up in my list is a heavenly creamy white floral from Tom Ford and that's Orchid Soleil, an outstanding nutty tuberose fragrance with a soft spicy opening and creamy deep vanilla base. Orchid Soleil is a delicious gourmand with an elegant tuberose note. Top notes are cypress, pink pepper and bitter orange. Middle notes are tuberose and red lily. And in the base there is whipped cream, chestnut, vanilla, orchid and patchouli. The combination of pink pepper, cypress and bitter orange create this interesting soft spicy opening. The creamy sweet tuberose appears immediately. And in the base this combo of chestnut, whipped cream and vanilla Simply adorable. Longevity is about 8 hours with a strong sillage. Gorgeous, delicious, gourmand summer vanilla. Orchid Soleil by Tom Ford. Talking of summer vanillas, of course, I need to show 
Brazilian Crush, Chirosa 62 by Sol de Janeiro, an almond caramel vanilla dream. This one seduces with notes of pistachio, almond, heliotrope, jasmine, caramel, vanilla, salt and sandalwood. It is delicious, nutty caramel that smells like a pistachio ice cream with salted caramel sauce. Brazilian Crush is beachy, carefree happiness in a bottle. It's sweet, sexy and cheerful. Heliotrope is not prominent, so it's not really powdery. It's more about the yummy notes, I would say. Creamy vanilla and sandalwood create a warm and sweet dry down. It's a delicious, easy reach for summer and perfect for late summer days when we want to hold on this beachy feeling and wish this more sweet gourmand scent instead of summer freshies. Longevity is moderate, four to five hours with a moderate sillage. So when you spray this perfume, there is a great sillage, but after half an hour, I would say it's more moderate. So this is Brazilian Crush Chirosa 62 by Sol de Janeiro. The last one is an old and all time love with a lot of scent memories for me. It's Casimir by Chopin. An oldie but a goodie. This uh, fragrance has a lot of notes in it. There is peach, apricot, coconut, raspberry, mango, black currant, and bergamot in the top. In the mid, there is cinnamon, carnation, mandarin, orange, geranium, jasmine, lily of the valley. And there is a wonderful base of vanilla, benzoin, tonka bean, opopanax, amber, sandalwood, musk, and patchouli. This oriental vanilla fragrance with 90s style is light, creamy, powdery, sweet, fruity and a vanilla amber scent. Most recognizable fruits are peach, apricot and mango. It feels like coming home and eating apricot pie made by mom, in my opinion. It brings that cozy feeling everything is okay. The notes are well blended, no one stands out. In the base you get a whole bunch of sweet and intense amber benzoin, vanilla, tonka, creamy sandalwood, oriental opopanax and sensual musk. I don't smell much patchouli in it. To me this is a signature scent for daytime and for evening, special occasions and year round. It's sensual, feminine, a little bit vintage. You get it for an affordable price. You have great value. On me, it's long lasting, eight hours for sure, with a strong sillage. And it's similar to um, Mikalev's Ylang in gold, but this one is better in my opinion. So, this was Kasmir by Chopin. If I had to rank them, I think the first one would be Kassili. Second, Lalibella. The third one would be Casimir. Fourth, Orchid Soleil. And the last one, Brazilian Crush, because this is on the heavy sweet side. <laughs> What's your favorite summer or late summer vanilla fragrance? What would you suggest? Tell me in the comments down below. I love to hear from you guys. I'm still a bit busy. I hope I'll find enough time to film my hauls of the last month before fall is coming. So stay tuned. Have a great time and see you in my next video. Bye bye.